Hello, we want to welcome you to this Tech Tip video on creating job numbers that match your sales order number and line item using the sales order entry function. This is a brand new feature in Job Boss 2020. Prior to this improvement, you could create a job to meet demand for your sales order by using auto numbering or by manually entering the job number. Now, the job ID you create in sales order entry function can be named the same as the sales order line item which helps you better track your job to sales order relationship. In the next few minutes, you will learn how to create this relationship between sales orders and jobs. I will create a sales order and briefly explain each tab until we arrive on the supply tab. That is when will we create a job using the sales order number and line item. Let's get started. I already have the sales order entry function up in Job Boss, and I'm showing the general tab. First, I'm going to click the auto number button and hit my tab key on my keyboard to light up the fields on the general tab. Job Boss is requiring a customer ID in this case and I have a purchase order from Ford Motor Company in my hands with three line items on it. So I'm just going to choose from my arrow list here Ford Motor Company. When I choose Ford Motor Company from the drop down list Job Boss will feed the default information on the general tab from the customer master file. I'm going to be entering PO number from Ford 3006578. I'm going to hit the tab key and the buyer from Ford Motor Company on this purchase order is Don Vinci. Don has indicated on the PO that he would like to, these items to be delivered by September 25th. So I'll change the promise date to September 25th. I'm now going to save that information and choose the detail tab to begin entering my line items from the purchase order. The detail tab is where all the items the customer is ordering, ordering will be entered. The part numbers I'm adding are going to be 25B1200. So I'm going to click on the plus sign here. And then the part number field, I'm going to type in 25B-1200. Hit my tab key. That's going to pull in information from my master file, my part master file. I'm going to enter a quantity here of 100 because that's what's indicated on my um, PO from Don Vinci. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the tab key. And next, I'm going to add the next line item on the purchase order. With I went ahead and added the other two line items on this detail tab of the sales order. Let's focus on part number 25B-1200 for this lesson, where there is a quantity of 100 being requested from Don Vinci. I'm going to go ahead and save the record and move over to the supply tab of sales order entry. And I'm, I'm going to show you that I have 25B-1200 highlighted here as well. The supply tab is where we will define how we are going to fulfill each sales order line items order quantity. Again, I have this line item 25B-1200, line item number one, highlighted here. And here in the part quantities area, you can see that we have a zero on hand balance in allocated quantity of 100, which is being fed from this sales order itself an inventory order um, of zero and an in-production quantity of zero. I now need to decide from the three actions I can take to meet demand on this tab, which is create a job or link to a PO or link to a job, which one I need to choose to meet the demand for this line item here. If I click on this icon here, which is the in-production status icon, I can see that I do not have any jobs that I can link to um, to meet the demand for this job. So that one is eliminated. I cannot use the link to portion of this because I'm, I, I don't have any jobs to link to and I'm not purchasing this item themselves at the shop. We are actually creating this item. So the only choice left I have to make here is to choose the create job icon. When I click on this create job icon with line item number one highlighted, this is going to give me a uh, create job for sales order window where at the top I can see I have the sales order information that I was just filling out on the previous tabs here. There's the sales order number and the line um, number, and my promise date and my order quantity with a part number and the description as well. And in the bottom area down here, I have the opportunity to create a job uh, to meet this demand for this 100 order quantity for Ford Motor Company. I do have the ability to click on this auto number button right here, which would of course auto number my job ID 
using the job ID auto numbering system. So the next one in sequence would come up here. But the whole purpose of this video is to show you this new feature in Job Boss 2020 where I can actually use the sales order ID number uh, to create my job ID number. And then this sales order ID and this line item number are going to match the job ID. It's going to make it much easier for us to track uh, which jobs are created for which sales order line items. So all I would need to do now is click on this use sales order ID and you're going to see that the 60011-001 job ID is now populated in the job ID field from these two fields here. Uh, when I type in a number of lead days, that's how long it's going to take me to ship this uh, 25B-1200 to my customer. And I think that's about three days. The status of this line item is active. My order quantity is being fed, obviously, from the detail tab of the sales order itself. And then I would choose to check this box on if I want to copy the sales order customer data uh, from the sales order to my new job number. And since all jobs that are created from sales orders uh, do end up having to go into inventory, I do not have to have that uh, Ford Motor Company information on my job number if I don't want to, but I could also choose to copy that information over here by checking on this checkbox. So once I click the OK button, you're going to see that now uh, th this line item has a job ID and link to it, 60011-01. So I'm just going to quickly save this, and you can see now um, that that is, con that is connected. Uh, another bonus feature of, uh, or another uh, I guess a bonus uh, for Job Boss 2020 that I didn't tell you I was going to show you, but we now have the ability in Job Boss 2020 to click on this hyperlink here, and I could go directly to that job ID that I just or that job that I just created by clicking on the job ID number right here. So if I click on it um, right here, that's going to uh, open up the order entry function and job entry function. I'm going to see that job that I just created uh, from the sales order function. And that, my friends, is how to create job numbers that match your sales order number and line item using the sales order entry function. Thank you for watching this tech tip video.